Okay, Dr. IJB, and um, this uh, video uh, I'm calling the relaxation response. Um, uh, and uh, basically, um, uh, uh, relaxation response is a, a, a kind of a scientific way of doing meditation. Um, there um, are different forms of meditation, and one of the a more common one is repeating a mantra. Um, so um, somebody who does this uh, mantra training might take a mantra like, um, let's say Shiva, let's just say, um, and will repeat this, this name of Shiva over and over again. And as they keep doing this, they go into a, um, a meditation state. So uh, what happened was, uh, uh, there was a doctor who studied this uh, form of meditation. And what he found basically was that there definitely was a response when he did uh, brainwave um, and um, other therapies like uh, blood pressure, um, heart rate, etc., to study the effects of this. Um, brainwaves seem to calm down, um, less stress in the EEG. Um, the heart rate uh, slowed down a bit, blood pressure decreased. Um, and so these things seem to have a, a, uh, uh, an effect on the body. Um, but, you know, the question was, um, is it anything special about the word? Um, if you repeat the word Shiva, does that work? But if you reprove, uh, use the word, um, um, uh, let's say, um, um, uh, kidney uh, does a still work. And what the doctor found was it didn't really matter too much about what word you use, as long as you used it um, and um, uh, allowed yourself to relax uh, with the word. So he developed a relaxation response technique um, and he used the word one, O-N-E. He used that because basically it didn't have too much meaning. Um, you know, you don't want to focus on the name of the meaning. Let's just say if I use the, the, the mantra, Jesus Christ, um, well, um, you know, I'm a Christian, uh, Catholic actually, and um, the, the name of Jesus has a meaning for me. If I was Muslim um, and I repeated the, the word Allah, uh, Allah has meaning for me. Um, you know. Um, so, you know, somebody who has a relationship to the word, uh, they can sometimes get distracted um, by the word itself. Uh, so the Hindu with Krishna, let's just say. Um, but if you use a word that has no meaning, so for the yogi, the word om, O-M, really doesn't have any particular meaning. It's uh, supposedly the sound of the universe. Um, so... By repeating the word Om, you get an effect on the body um, that's similar. And um, for me, because I practice yoga all the, uh, for many years, I think it's interesting that he used the word one. that sounds an awful lot like the word Om. Uh, but anyhow, uh, he used the word one. How he did it then basically is that you would take an inhale and repeat the word one, and you would exhale and repeat the word one. So it was one on the inhale, one on the exhale and continue this. Now, um, he mentioned that um, you just kept it, keep on repeating this. And if you find that you're no longer repeating the word, um, you stop for a second and once again, start uh, practicing one on the inhale, one on the exhale. What actually happens is that the meditation is the part where you forget the word. Um, uh, so what tends to happen is you go one, 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 one. And then all of a sudden you go into a meditative state where uh, your mind um, just kind of floats. And then you realize, oh, I'm not repeating the word one. One, 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 gone again. So during those periods where you're not repeating the word, where your mind has been distracted and it's gone into this relaxation state, that's actually the meditation uh, period. Um, repeating the word is just a means of getting there. Um, um, 
and you don't really try to control this whole whole thing. You don't feel you're a bad person because you're not repeating the word one. Uh, like I said, the periods where you're not repeating the word is actually the meditation itself. Um, so this is a method um, that the doctor uh, did, and he found the same thing with repeating mantras, which was the brain waves slowed down, the, the heart rate uh, slowed down, blood pressure decreased. So all the things that they found in the meditators, they could reproduce by just repeating the word one. So it's kind of the doctor's uh, meditation uh, technique um, and um, um, s simple to do. Um, um, again, and it's a word that really doesn't have a whole lot of meaning. So you don't have to worry if you're a religious person uh, because we're not really repeating anybody's um, uh, religious individual. Um, you know, um, uh, again, if somebody, let's just say, is Jewish, you may not want to repeat the word Jesus. Um, uh, so, you know, and, you know, maybe somebody who's uh, not Hindu may balk at the idea of, um, uh, you know, repeating the word Shiva. Um, so doing it this way is a little bit easier for all involved. And uh, uh, like I said, you get the same benefits uh, as the person who's doing the other techniques.